Two months after Liam Dunn's car was hit by an Addis police officer that put him in critical condition while killing his sister Maggie and her friend Caroline Gill, Liam was able to honor them at his high school where he threw out the first pitch, a breathtaking scene for everyone. And I had to throw a strike. Even though I couldn't, like, my feet were planted, I had to throw a strike. The resiliency of, of Liam uh, has been phenomenal. Uh, you know, yes, he's going through his, his rough times and his emotional times, but that kid is so tough. That kid is so resilient. This community is like no other. These people over here, they'll... I mean, I had people cooking, bringing stuff to the house. People come and see, visit me all the time. It's it's a small part to to honor the lives of those two girls and and to uh, to celebrate the fact that that Liam is still with us and to celebrate uh, him as a young man, him as a fighter. Some of the injuries that Liam had to recover from was a skull fracture, a concussion, a broken femur, a broken wrist, and broken ribs. Absolutely amazing that he recovered just two. Two months after the car accident. I got the surgery on the 12th since I was on the vent. I really, when I woke up, I didn't have super, like I didn't have a ton of pain, maybe a little achiness, but once I got home, you know, it's just hard getting around the house doing stuff that you normally could do. Yesterday was, uh, was the first day that uh, he was able to walk significantly on his own at rehab. Uh, so how quickly he has progressed, it makes you realize how tough of a kid he is because uh, it's only, it's, it's been about a month since he's been released. While the Dunn and Gill families won't be able to get their daughter back, seeing Liam's resiliency has certainly lifted everyone's spirits up. At Brule High School, I'm Corey Rolden, WBRZ Sports Zoom.